Nigeria's delegation to the ongoing 448th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union led by the President of the Senate, Gatula Pabio, has sought the collaboration of the World Trade Organization, the area of digital and marine economies. Senator Pabio, while addressing the media shortly after a cut visit to the Director General of the organization, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Iwala, in her office in Geneva, Switzerland, sought for areas of collaboration with the organization in the various sectors of the economy for the overall benefit of Nigerians. The Senate President said the delegation discussed issues affecting trade back home in Nigeria and ways in which he, the National Assembly, can assist in removing barriers through legislation for the benefits of the Nigerian people. According to him, digital economic content illegal finishing along the coastal state of Cross River, rivers acquired by Mbayelsa State, as well as establishments with digital trade portal wherein all trade information could be assessed, were also discussed. It's our 184th, uh, 148th meeting, and so we brought it to Geneva for the past. Uh, few days we've been on, we uh, stay for about a week. So we took the opportunity of this meeting uh, to pay a courtesy call on our icon and uh, one of the greatest Nigerian exports, very positive export to the rest of the world. Uh, our distinguished sister, Okonjo Iwela, who happens to be the Director General of the World Trade Organization. And uh, we came to uh, once uh, thank her for the great job she's doing for the entire world and then the policies put in place to uh, streamline and ensure uh, the workability of world trade and also to see our office and also encourage our staff and thank them for supporting her. And we, we in Nigeria, we are very proud of her and we are still proud of her and we are missing her. And so I want, I, I want to use this opportunity to thank her for receiving us and our team and then spending such a, a great time with us. It's almost like a, a reunion for us until from now we will now go back to our business in uh, what brought us to Geneva. Thank you for seeing us. The Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Benjamin Carl, who corroborated the Senate President's stance, said Africa and Nigeria stand to benefit from various innovations and initiatives of the World Trade Organization. See how our sister, one of our greatest exports, is doing in this uh, all-important assignment. And she took her time to bring us up to speed on the various innovations, initiatives of the WTO, which Africa and Nigeria stands to benefit from. And uh, we are going home more refreshed because we have seen a space here for Africa to thrive in business and in trade. We discuss a lot of issues, including African trade agreement and how the WTO is going to work with us towards achieving it. the digitization that she's championing, uh, championing at the moment. We have seen a space there for us. The Women Fund mm -hmm. in business. We've seen a space there and uh, that was why we ensured that our a uh, female legislature at all came on board to join us so that she will hear it and then take it back home to the female caucus of uh, the, the parliament. So we are very impressed with what we have seen and we are promising that our support in case of domesticating certain rules or legislations that is around the WTO to make sure that Nigeria participate effectively will be done. We are ensuring, assuring her that uh, she has a back home, a backbone down home that will be always be ready to give her all the support that she needs. The World Trade Organization Director General Dr. Ngozi okonjo Wella described the visits of the Senate President and the Deputy Speaker to her office is a huge honor as it is caused on things they feel would help make a material difference for Nigerians. It's an honor and an absolute pleasure to receive the Senate President, Senator Godswila Babio, and the Deputy Speaker of the House. Um, it's a huge honor to have them here with the delegation, uh, that uh, both from the Senate and the House. Um, we were able to focus, as the Deputy Speaker said, and the Senate President, on what are those things we're doing at the WTO uh, that would help make a material difference for Nigeria. And we spoke of the recent programs that we launched uh, from um, a program, some capacity building from the Standards and Trade Deve Development 
facility to help with improving sanitary and phytosanitary standards for some of the crops in Nigeria so that uh, you know, they can help with diversifying the economy to even fisheries. Uh, uh, one of the members, uh, one of the senators, sorry, uh, raised uh, the issue of uh, illegal fishing um, and mining of the waters uh, of Nigeria. And uh, it, it was with uh, great pleasure that we explained about the Fisheries Subsidies Agreement Part 1. And hopefully we'll close Part 2 so that this will help control illegal and unreported fishing and overfishing of water. So a lot of things on the table, they've already mentioned them, but an absolute delight and a great discussion. And